Nintendo Z3 lineup may have just been leaked. We're talking every single detail. Seriously, everything. Just avert thine eyes if you want to wait until E3. I'm Whitney Van Lanningham. And I'm Dave Klein, and this is Nintendo Direct! <laughs> FAQ's forum may have just been revealed every single Nintendo announcement for Nintendo Direct. In other words, we have absolutely no idea if this is legit. It's a post from user Lazyman, Lazyman, I don't know how you pronounce it, who claims he has a contact with connections in marketing that shared it with him. In other words, if you have a major secret, don't share it with Lazyman. Lazyman is either a giant liar or a giant asshole. Only time will tell. But hey, until then, let's talk about what he claims to be Nintendo's E3 lineup. Just Take it with a grain of salt. Firstly, Nintendo will be releasing details on their upcoming online service, which will launch in September and act just like PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live Gold. Pay a monthly fee and you'll get free retro games every month, discounts, and more. Not only that, but Virtual Console is back! Except now it's called Nintendo Classics! NES and GBA games will release starting in August, a month before the full online service is released. SNES and N64 games will release in late 2018 slash early 2019. Will the service actually release games in a more timely manner than Virtual Console did? <laughs> this is Nintendo! Of course not! Why would they want money? That's just stupid. This particular piece of news actually seems legit, as Switch Online was just revealed via Nintendo's online site. Okay, Lazy Man. You're one for one. Let's scrutinize further. Nintendo is set to reveal an upcoming Fire Emblem title, Lustrous Daybreak, coming this holiday season. Ooh, outside of the fact that it sounds incredibly <laughs> sexual, Lustrous Daybreak is just a synonym for Radiant Dawn. You know, the Fire Emblem title that released to the Nintendo Wii back in 2007? Sexually debunked! Unless it's just a Switch re-release of an old decent, but not great Fire Emblem title, or codename, you're gonna have to get your lust ready for another time of day. <laughs> I can't wait for Fire Emblem Lusty Twilight. I'll test my weapon triangle with Lindis all night long. <laughs> I don't even... what? Spear beats Chakram, Whitney. Spear beats Chakram. Tight! All of your Pokemon fans might just have something to look forward to with Pokemon Switch details finally being... maybe revealed! It'll be a remake of Pokemon Red and Blue with graphics somewhat between Sun and Moon and Pokemon Tournament. I want this one to be true so bad. Red and Blue is still my favorite Pokemon game and I'd buy that in a heartbeat. Dave, you're not allowed to like Pokemon. Chris is the only Pokemon master on this show! Yeah, that's true. <laughs> What's more exciting to me is the Spyro Trilogy is reportedly coming to the Switch, and I would love to play it portably. Not only that, but a Crash Bandicoot amiibo will be released and work with the Spyro Trilogy. And speaking of which, both Crash Bandicoot and Spyro will be playable in Smash Crash, Sonic, and Mario all in one game together? That's just madness, Whitney. You're a crazy person. <laughs> I have another huge Smash 4 character reveal for you too, Dave. What? What is it? Captain Toad will also be playable. Oh. Captain Toad, oh yay, just who we were all clamoring for. Hey, Toad isn't so bad. He's been in every main Mario game and it's actually a little weird you couldn't fight as him before. Oh, that's true. And news that has me excited, I mean, if it's true, as we're still riding off of Lazy Man's potential bullcrap forum post, a new Paper Mario game will be released, but not by Intelligent Systems. I love the Paper Mario series, so I'm hoping for the best. Unless it's just a re-release of Color Splash for the Wii U, in which case I don't care. <laughs> How about some Sanic? We get Sanic? <laughs> Dave, all of the Sanic! Sega Ages will be releasing to the Switch in the States, which includes Sonic Adventures 1 and 2. Not only that, but Super Sonic Racing, which will be similar to Sonic R, will also be revealed. All right, Sonic R, everyone's favorite Sonic game. <laughs> the Switch will also get Five Nights at Freddy's, but with some content censored by creator Scott Cawthorn. Wait, why on both ends? I thought the Five Nights at Freddy's hype was done. Also, censor what? The game is super PG. I don't know. We also get a Metroid Prime 4 trailer, but no details about what it will entail. That'd be dope. I mean, it's expected as we already know they're making it, but I'm all for it. And Ice Climbers! Why? Who asked for that? The world! Seriously? <laughs> what do you think of all the possible Nintendo Direct leakage? Do you think it's real or fake? And if it is real, what has you the most excited or disappointed? Excited about Crash and Smash 4? Disappointed by no Animal Crossing? Hit us up in the comments, like and subscribe to our things, and and click to the left of Whitney's face for more Nerdwire content. Why are they releasing Fester's Quest for the Switch? That's a random one, but a really good question. <laughs> it was every child's dream to play as Uncle Fester from the Addams Family and shoot a gun at slime monsters. The music was weirdly good too. Sure was. <laughs>